Hey everyone, Stephanie from Mrs. D's Corner popping in again today to share with you another freebie from either my Teachers Pay Teacher Shop or on my website www.mrsdscorner.com in the resource library tab at the top. Today we're going to be talking about the how to use the restroom and how to wash your hands. You can grab it using the link above and there are four different parts to this freebie. I'm going to show you two, but first you have the how to use the restroom. It comes in these two inch cards and then you have how to use the um, or how to wash your hands and they also come in the two inch cards and they also come in these three and a half inch cards. So the how to use the bathroom also comes in these larger cards. I printed them in these sizes for this video. So how do you prep these? How, what do you use them for and how do you use them in the classroom? So when it comes to using these in the classroom, one thing that I've done, so first let's talk about how to wash your hands. In our classroom bathroom, we have a mirror up top the, up, up top the sink. So I put a piece of cardstock or a piece of just regular paper, and then I'll put a strip of Velcro on that paper, and with just a marker, I'll write one, two, three, four, five, six, because we have six steps into washing our hands. And then I will either use these larger cards or the smaller two inch cards and Velcro them on to that strip in order. This is a great visual, it's an eye level for the students when they're doing the task, when they are washing their hands. It gives them that visual of all of the steps, how to wash their hands and complete the task independently. We can also pull these off of the mirror in the bathroom and use them for an impromptu or a planned lesson about how to wash our hands. We have a classroom sink as well, so I put these visuals behind the sink on the wall there so that they always have these visuals handy. You can also use these larger cards, cut them out after you laminate them, and put them on a binder ring so you can carry them with you if you're using a restroom out on a CBI or a field trip, or if you're using the restrooms, the other restrooms in the school, you still have those visuals and a go-to for when your students are washing their hands. When it comes to how to use the restroom, I did this like really not so Pinterest perfect activity for my kids. And basically what I did was I laminated just a plain sheet of cardstock and I took four strips of the loop Velcro, put them on here, added Velcro to the back of my pieces after I laminated them and made a sequencing mat for my students. Now, before you're like, well, that's kind of Pinterest perfect. I promise you that it's not. At the top, I used a Sharpie, guys, just a regular black Sharpie in my handwriting and wrote how to use the restroom. On the back of each card, I have taken the time to number all of the pieces to put them in order. That way, if they're ever out of order or if one of the paras or a substitute or a tutor is doing this activity with one of my kids, they know the steps that we are sequencing them in for using the restroom and they're already in order or if students are having difficulties they can look on the back and match the numbers to get them all in the same correct order see two three you can also use these in the actual restroom if you have a classroom restroom I have taken a strip of Velcro before and put it on the tile in our classroom restroom and taken these smaller pieces <clears throat> excuse me and put them on the wall in order. So when my students use the restroom, if they're using it independently, or this is a task we're working on for their IEP, they have the visuals already in the restroom. They don't need to take anything extra with them. They don't have to touch them. Please don't touch them when you're using the restroom. And they're already there in order. We can also take them off, and if we wanna do like an impromptu lesson, or we wanna practice using the restroom, we can, as the para or the teacher or whoever is working with this child, take them off, use them at a table in a center, or go into the restroom and just kind of look at them and move them and move them out of order and have kids sequence them. So you have a lot of options when it comes to these two different sequencing activities for how to use the restroom and how to wash your hands. If you have any questions or you have any other ways that you've used this in your classroom, please share in the comments below. And if you love this video, please like and share it and subscribe to my channel, either on YouTube, here on Facebook, or wherever you're seeing it. And I hope that you have a great rest of the day. See you next time.